Welcome to another class of Digital Design with Verilog. Today class we will discuss FSM example and FSM correctness and completeness. These two things particularly FSM correctness and FSM completeness are two important thing in designing FSM for any sequential circuit. Let us start with the, the class. So, outline of today classes we will discuss about mostly FSM completeness and correctness and before that we looked at uh, so, what earlier classes, last classes were discussed. So, whenever you are designing any sequential circuit, the eighth step to designing any sequential circuits. So, standard procedure for designing sequential circuit is this eight step. This eight step are shown at step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4 and step 5, step 6, step 7 and step 8. And first two steps describe the problem in HLL or English like statement. Then second one is model the problem using FSM. These two are the most important step and rest of the steps particularly step 3 but represent the FSM in tabular form same as step 2, derive the flip flop requirement, state encoding, derivation of a next state logic, then derivation of combinational function from next state logic and realization of FSM. So, step 3 to step 8 it is fairly straightforward. So, we should focus mostly on step 2, step 2 is the most important thing. But still many tool can do, but uh, uh, in our course we will look at uh, uh, step 5 also and uh, step 2 optimizations also we looked at, but today class we will focus on mostly on step 2. So, the in the last class also we dis means, uh, stated a statement, very nice statement, once we specify FSM for a problem, sequential circuit or system, implementation is not difficult, this thing, this was concluded. So, today class we will looked at mostly on this aspect of sequential logic design. So, particularly we will try to specify the FSM correctly and completely. So, let us look at uh, some example of FSM in the last classes, uh, some part was uh, uh, not covered. So, uh, let us look at another example parity encoder. So, in this example, so English like statement is, so given a system the stream are entering, 0 1 stream are entering to a system. and the English like problem statement is output a 1, one total number of 1 is even. That means, initially uh, there will be no input. So, total number of uh, uh, 1 will be 0. So, it will be in uh, even that means, in this state output will be 1. So, we are put uh, showing output 1. So, we are designing trying to design FSM for initially. So, the state of the problem is uh, it will go to reset and it will be in even state even state means it will output a 1 and whenever you get a 1 input 1 then it will go to OR state. In OR state output is 0 because uh, output 1 1 total number of 1 is even. So, whenever you are getting another 1 then it will go to even state and in this case it will output a 1 and clearly this is a very simplistic circuit. We can design using a T flip flop and T flip flop can be designed using a D flip flop. So, once we specify the FSM, then problem are much easier. Another example, so button press synchronizer. So, this example and material referred from a book, name of the book is uh, uh, Digital Design by Frank Vahit. What is uh, FSM for button press synchronizers? English like statement specifications. We want a simple circuit, sequential circuit which do this work. So, convert button press into single cycle durations, convert button press into single cycle durations. Even our regular keyboard and most of the times any keyboard it uses this concepts. Regardless of length of time that button actually press, it will generate a one pulse per button press. So, this is shown. So, this is the actual diagram shown. So, whenever you press this button, so, B i will be 1 and our button press synchronizer what it will do? So, button press synchronizer controller it will generate. So, if you look at these are the cycles. So, cycles and whenever button is pressed it will generate output B 0 equal to 1 for only one cycle durations. If each button is pressed for longer duration also it should ignore. This is our English like statement and how we will design this button press synchronizer, this circuit 
because this is English like statement is this one convert button press to a single cycle duration regardless of length of time that button actually press and we want to design this circuit this controller and how to design. So, if you look at the things so let us uh, see so what is a statement. So, initially whenever button is not pressed that means initially it will be in state A. So, I am up and uh, B i is equal to 0. So, that means button is not pressed and if button is not pressed B o button output. So, what is the output is equal to 0 and whenever button is pressed. So, I am going to we are going to another states B button is pressed and output are saying B 0 is equal to 1 and another thing is if button is released then it is immediately come back to state A and if button is continuously pressed for the next cycle it will go to the state C and in this state B 0 is equal to 0 B 0 means button output button synchronizer output will be 0 because whenever you press the button for one cycle the button output will be 1. For rest of the cycle even if button is pressed button synchronizer output should be 0. So, that is how we require another state B i is equal to 1, but B o we want 0. So, that is why this is for first cycle button press and this is for subsequent cycle where button is pressed. So, this cycles and here it will stay forever for until B i is equal to 1 and so once B i is released then it go to the A states that is void state. So, this signifies A, B and C three states and clearly this is uh, I am off state means B i is equal to 0 and this is uh, B i is equal to 1 I am on for the first clock and this is actually I am up even if B i is equal to 1. So, this is the FSM or finite state machine circuit for button synchronizer and so once you design the circuit then implementation is really not difficult it is very very easy. So, let us take another example sequence generator. So, FSM example 10. So, we are covering up to 10, 11 examples. So, sequence generator. So, what is the English like statement? English like statement is generate two output sequence. Earlier, all the output are only one output, one binary output. Now, we are saying two output. X1, it repeat this sequence 0, 1, 1, 1 repeat, and X2, there are two output X1 and X2. So, one is uh, X1, 0, 1, 1 repeats, and other one is 0 1 1 0 and repeats. So, there are two outputs x 1 repeats 0 1 1 1 and x 2 0 1 1 0. So, clearly you can see. So, this can be implemented using four states initially. So, we can go into state 0 and in state 0 it should produce 0 0 state 1 it should produce 1 1 state 2 1 1 and state 3 1 0 because if you look at x 1 x 1 it producing 0 1 1 1. So, 0 1 1 1 this is and x 2 is producing 0 1 1 0. So, this is the FSM per sequence generator and clearly we know once we generate or once we specify the FSM implementation of FSM is not difficult. Suppose you want to generate instead of 2 bit earlier cases 2 bit now we are extending to 4 bit integers. So, now x is equal output is equal to not means 1 bit, but now it is a 4 bit hexadecimal numbers. So, what we are saying is x is equal to 0 a 7 5 and repeats. So, generate 4 bit integer output sequence. So, in this case in state 0 x is equal to 0, state 1 x is equal to a, state 2 x is equal to 7 and state 3 x is equal to 5. So, now output is not 1 bit it is 4 bit. Still the state is same only what it will change output logic will change. Next state logic will be same number of state will be same only output logic will be change. Okay. Whenever state is S0 output 4 bit is equal to 0. Whenever we are in state 1 S1 output 4 bit will be A x is equal to A hexadecimal number A. So, similarly if you want to generate 8 bit instead of 4 bit we can extend to 8 bit. 
So, this is extending to 8 bit. So, earlier it was a 4 bit number, now it is number can go up to 256, 255, 0 to 255 and these are the sequence 72, 53, 11 and 19. So, whenever S0 generate 72, whenever S1 state generate 53, S2 state generate 11 and S3 state generate 192 and this thing repeats. So, now instead of 4 bit, now have increased to 8 bit, 1 bit, 2 bit, 4 bit, 8 bit. So, FSM is same, only thing is next state logic also same, difference is only with output logic and if you look at the circuits, so this because this is a 4 bit, 8 bit sequence generator and there are 4 states, it can be implemented using a 2 bit counter and this 2 bit counter output logic, so we can take a, this is output logic, this is kind of output logic can be re-implemented using a nice mocks because only state is same, output state is same, but only based on the states, output is different. So, it is a kind of, there is a array of 4 size okay, and we are indexing the array. So, this is the index 1 and this is the array. So, clearly array 4 and if it array 4 have 4 element 72, 53, 11 and 192 and if it is value of i, decides which element to access and where we can implement this using a clearly with the multiplexers and this is the output. So, how we can implement the 8 bit integer output sequence and clearly in this case A, B, C, D values can be hardwired. FSM example the same thing, so this is 4 bit counter we have already implemented in our last classes, how we can implement a 2 bit counter. So, 2 bit counter which generates sequence uh, uh, states 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1 and this is the present states, this is the present state and this is the next state, this is present state and next state and from the present state next state we are generating this circuit, this is a state register, it have two flip flops, S0 and S1 is the output of the state register, this is the next state and this things uh, for 2 bit counter. 2 bit uh, binary counter, this is the logic and whatever the output we are fitting to multiplexers and this A, B, C, D is hardwired, A, B, C, D is hardwired and this is clearly you can realize the FSM very nicely. So, once you design the FSM, then implementing the circuit is very, very easy and if you look at the sequence generator. So, this method of implementing is much more simpler. So, that is a simple to implement output logic 8 to 2 input binary functions. So, that also easier. Okay. FSM output logic may be simpler than register and mocks. Sometimes we can implement using direct output logic and clearly whatever earlier I stated same thing I am stating again here we are stating again. So, once we specify FSM for a problem or system implements is not difficult. So, why not to focus on designing the FSM completely and correctly. The what we are using term is completely and correctly. So, let us discuss about the thing. So, FSM completeness and correctness. Once you design FSM for a problem specified using high level English language, whether the FSM is complete or not and whether it is correct or not, both things we need to ensure. Okay. So, this material we have taken from Sam book Frank Bahit, digital design by Frank Bahit. If you look at the set theoretic definition of uh, Moore machines, so in this uh, class we are focusing on Moore machines, not Mali machines, but uh, similar things can be done with per Mali machines. In Moore machines, if you look at the things, so this is the number of states, this is the number of input and output it depend upon the states and how many number of transitions are there, if you look at how many number of transitions. So, next state functions or transition functions is S into i goes to next states. So, clearly number of transitions will be how many states, cardinality of states into how many different type of input can be possible. 
Okay, so this is the number of transitions functions. Okay, so this is the next state function should have this many enumerated things: cardinality of S and cardinality of I. Okay, so the because we know S is finite set and I also finite, so clearly. S into a, this numbers will also be finite because both are finite. S is finite, I is finite, and this will be finite. And we need to specify the FSM completely. Okay, so we often draw FSM graphically or in state diagrams. That also you know, and can also use tabular form or textual language. And if you look at so finite state machines transition functions, this is the transition functions S into I goes to S. And what we require for completeness for all the states of FSM and for all the type of input, our FSM should have the transition, okay, transition arrow. So, in FSM diagram, we use arrow for all state, for all type of input, the, there should be a transition, okay. This is FSM complete, completeness. For all the states, all the input combinations specified in the transition functions, then only we can say it is complete. Otherwise, we cannot say it is complete. For all the states, all the input combinations specified in the transition functions. That means, if you are stating the FSM in graphical form, graphically also, it should have all the information all things FSM need to be complete all for all the states all the input combinations have to be specified. So, let us take examples of a T flip flop this is the FSM FSM of T flip flop what are the states state 0 and 1 input is 0 1 output is uh, 0 1. So, now for completeness we are looking at these two things is this FSM is complete or not and I am saying it is complete. Why? Because is this FSM is complete or not and I am saying yes. The number of transitions in this state diagram FSM state diagram in this state diagram. So, S is number of state is 2, number of type of input, input is 0, 1, 2 and total is cardinality of S is 2, cardinality of I is 2. So, total four transitions are there. So, if you look at this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, there are four transitions and all four transitions are there and additional plus one extra initial transition shown in red, this one is initial transitions. Now, I can say because this FSM have S cardinality of S cross cardinality of I number of transitions that means it have four transitions. So, clearly uh, we can see this is actually complete FSM this FSM is complete we can say yes. Let us look at another example this is a specified uh, FSM for JK flip flop. So, can I say this FSM is complete or not because let us see. So, states are two two states 0 and 1 and how many different type of input? We have two input J and K and how many possibilities? Possibilities 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. There are four possibility. For each state, there are four possibility of inputs. Okay. So, this is two states and for input is possibility is four possibility. That means, for every state, there are four possible transitions and we should have four possible transitions from each states. So, if you look at this thing 1, so this have actually 2 transitions and this is another 2 transitions. So, from state these are the transitions and from here, so if you look at there are transitions. So, these are the 2 transitions. So, this supposed to be this one. So, there are 2 transitions here. So, here these are 2 transitions. So, clearly this 2 and 
this 2 there are 4 transitions for 0. So, this 2 transitions are for 0 and this 2 and this 2 are for 1. So, clearly there are 8 transitions and I can say a number of transitions is 8 and plus 1 more extra transitions which is shown in red. So, this one is extra transitions. So, total 8 plus 1 9 transitions and from this diagram we can say so because this is satisfying this properties. So, we can say this FSM is complete this is another example of completeness. And what is correctness? We have seen completeness what is correctness? So, correctness is we know what is the means finite state transitions. So, this is the transition functions not only the numbers number of transitions how they are specified transition need to be correct FSM is correct if for all the state of FSM for all the state of FSM and operations what I are saying is and operations of every pair of outgoing edges equal to 0. That means, for some conditions FSM should not transit to more than one state. Okay. So, suppose for some conditions if it is for two arrows if it is will be true then there will be undeterminism then it is we cannot say it is a deterministic FSM. Okay. So, meaning is for some conditions FSM should not transit to more than one state. Okay, this is the correctness property 1. What is the second property? This is the correctness property 1. Second correctness property is all operations of all outgoing edges of a state need to be 1. So, all operations of all outgoing edges of a state need to be 1. What it says? Meaning there should be at least one transition for every conditions there should be at least one transitions for every conditions. That means, you are in the states and you got some input and you do not know what to, to be done, you do not have options to do then it is not specified correctly. Okay. So, even if we specified the FSM completely after that we need to check for correctness. Okay. So, let us see with the example. FSM completeness example and one more things let us see. So, let us uh, see another example. So, 3 cycle high laser timer already we have seen these examples in the earlier classes. So, there are 4 states weight in off states and whenever b is equal to 0 that means, b dex is equal to 1 okay. and uh, when b is equal to 1 it transits to on 1 state and it stay for x is equal to set is x is equal to 1 and for next 2 clock cycles. So, it transit to on 2 and on 3 state and which also set x is equal to 1. So, 3 cycle laser timer means whenever you press the button the output stay on for 3 cycle this is the problem statement and based on the English like statement we can design FSM for that. Okay. So, x is equal to 1 for 3 cycle after button is pressed. Okay, so, whenever button is pressed it uh, output x is equal to 1 for 3 cycle once button is pressed that is the English like statement and uh, this is the uh, logic diagram one button is pressed this is this button is pressed this is the clock this is the clock. So, one button is pressed then it is stay on for 3 cycle and after that it is again goes to off this is the problem statement and based on the problem statement we can design this circuit already we have discussed these things in the last class. This is the circuit for this is the FSM diagram for 3 cycle high laser timer. So, once button is pressed it comes to on 1 states x and make x 1 is equal to 1 then in the next cycle. So, it goes to on 2 state in the next it goes to on 3 states and after that it stay for 3 cycle in green green states particularly on 1, on 2 and on 3 states its output is equal to 1 and after that it automatically goes to off state again. 
So, what I am asking question here is whether this FSM is complete or not, first questions, whether this FSM is complete or not, for every state whether you are considering all the input or not. So, in some sense from the FSM it is not clearly visible because from on one state we have only one arrow, no there are no two arrow, only one transition is defined. Okay. So, clearly there are one input B and there should be two transitions and we are not able to see two transitions here. Okay. So, from the uh, high level of what I can say analysis we are not able to see, maybe it may be there or it may be invisible, but we are not able to see. So, if this FSM is complete from the definitions because number of transitions we have defined it is no, because we have not specified what this transition for, what this transition for, what this transition for. Because of this region we can say this FSM is incomplete, okay. but how can we say? So, if we do, so for this for on states if you specify if you are getting a B also go to this states on two state and if you are getting a B dash also go to on two state. In this case also if you are getting a B go to on two state on three states if you are getting a B dash also on three state and in this case also on three if you are getting a B or B dash you are going to off states. In this case we have specified all the transitions. In earlier case we have not specified what is inside this and if you look at number of transition is very less. So, because of this thing this one is incomplete, but this one is complete, this one is complete because for every states we are defining for all possible input. So, in this case also B B dex, in this case also B B dex, in this case also B B dex, in this case also B B dex. For all the states all the inputs are considered, this says this is complete. So, this is the reduced form, so this same things, if this is the circuit is complete because we have specified B plus B dex, now this is complete because we are specifying two things earlier things B plus B dex for B also and B dex also go to this. Okay. Because this one transitions refer to two transitions and this is in we are expressing the transitions using Boolean expressions. Okay. And now we can say for both the inputs it goes to the this state, for both the input from this it goes to this, from this for both the input B and B dex it goes to this. Okay. Now, because you have specified this B plus B dex, B plus B dex and B plus B dex, this make it complete. So, FSM connects example three cycle lasers. So, can you say this is a because this thing is correctness we have already seen. So, can I say this FSM is correct. So, what is the correctness definitions? So, end operations of every pair of outgoing edge of a state need to be 0, end operation of every pair of outgoing edges of a state need to be 0. B B dex if you look at this every outgoing B B dex if you look at B B dex is 0, B B dex 0, B B dex 0, B B dex 0. So, from all the states this is for this states B B dex, this is for this states, this is for this states and this is for this state for all the states is true for end operations this that means this one is done. All operations all outgoing edge should be 1. So, if you look at B plus B dex, B plus B dex is equal to 1, in this case also B plus B dex is equal to 1, in this case also B plus B dex is equal to 1, in this case also B plus B dex is equal to 1. What it says? All operations of all outgoing edges of a state is equal to 1. That means, this second property also ensued. So, that means, whatever we have designed FSM for 3 cycle high laser timer is complete and 
correct and this two property you want whenever you are designing anything it need to be complete and correct okay so let's look at for our earlier design button press synchronizer circuit so english like statement also we have seen so we want simple sequential circuit which convert button press to a single cycle durations so already we have seen this is the button press even if a button is pressed for longer durations only for first cycle it should be or should be a one so this is same thing whatever if button is pressed for longer durations only for one cycle it should be one and this is the already designs fsm in the um, means uh, earlier have already designed whether this fsm is uh, first thing is complete or not second one is correct or not so what completeness completeness is so for every states both complete input need to be specified in state a whether b and b dash is specified or not in state b b b dash specified or not state c b b dash specified or not and in this case clearly you can say this is for state a this is for state b and this is for state c for all the states all variety of inputs bi and bi dex bi value 0 and 1 is considered that means it is it's complete okay so this says this fsm is complete whether this fsm is correct or not so fsm is complete or not for all states for all type of inputs and there must be extra one this one is extra one state inside there should be total seven transitions in this case these are the two transitions 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this one is initial and this one is seventh so three states two different type of input 3 into 2 plus 1 initial transitions total seven transitions if all transitions it is complete three state bi can be 0 and 1 so 3 into 2 plus 1 so total seven transitions is showing seven transition arrow okay so this fsm is complete and whether it is correct or not So if you look at any states, all outgoing B B dash, and it it is getting zero, and or it we are getting one. So for every state we are looking at B I B dash, B I B dash, B I B dash. Okay. So B B dash goes to zero, B I B I dash, and B I B I dash. It's if you add it. If you add it, it will be one, and if you end it, it will be zero. Clearly, from this, we can say this FSM is correct. It is complete and correct. So, whenever you are designing any FSM, this property need to be ensure. FSM transitions specified in Boolean expressions are compressed form. So, the same thing can be represented in compressed form. So, in earlier example also have seen. So, these two things can be merged. these two thing can be merged and these two things can be merged because they are going to the same starting state to same so state to resonance states this two can be merged because in this case we cannot merge because they are going to different states but in this case we can merge and how it can be and it can be make like this because for this we can see put one transitions This is for one times, and this is for one times. This one is for one times. Instead of putting two arrows, we can put one arrow. But we need to specify for what value it should go. For what Boolean expressions it should go. This is so we can say compressed form. So Boolean expressions are in compressed form. Earlier it was just very small examples. Now let's go for a bigger examples. For bigger example, how it happens. This example also taken from our standard book Frank Bait by Digital Design. The English-like statement for code detector is: so there are three buttons. Suppose there is a means a uh, uh, means uh, electronics lock is there, and in that electronics lock, so there are four buttons. So one is start button, and there are three color button: red, green, and blue. Okay, and the designer specified that. the code will be unlocked or door will be open okay so you 
this is door lock u value is equal to 1 that means value will be unlocked when the button is pressed in sequence that means the sequence is first press the start and after that red blue green and red this sequence need to be pressed then only u will be 1 otherwise u will not be 1 so that means first press the start button then go for red then blue then green again press red if you press in this sequence s r b g r then it will open the door u will be 1 and if you look at the design so input from each button this is s r g b and a and there is output a which indicate some colored button is pressed some color button between rgb some color button is pressed so how we design a fsm for this so we will look at uh, very crudely and these things so wait for start state when s is equal to 1 okay means uh, one started so if c a red go to red one then if c a blue go to blue then if c go green then go to green if c red go to red two so clearly you are making a sequence okay and then you will be one if that state is there then open the door so wait to start start to red one okay so red one to blue blue to green and green to red and if you are in this state then you will blue one so clearly how many states this is wait state one start state second red state three blue states then green states and red this is second red and this is first red so clearly one two three four five and six states we can design because english like statement this is the sequence okay so wrong button any steps it goes to wait state okay clearly how many states if you look at one two three four five and six whatever we have said whenever you are pressing a start button it goes to start state if you are not pressing start button it is wait in wait states if you are in start button and if a button is pressed color button is pressed and if color button is red then we are going to red one state from the red one state if you are pressing a blue button we are going to blue states if you are in blue states and pressing a green button going to green state if you are not pressing a green button it goes to the white state every time you are pressing a wrong button it goes to white state okay so in this case if you are in state green and if you press a red button then you will go to red state and in this case u will go to 1 but rest of the cases u is equal to 0 even in this case also u is equal to 0 at any point of time if you press a wrong button so it is going to wait state so from the fsm designer point from the english like statements we have designed this circuit and this looks okay but we cannot guarantee whether it is it will work or not yes from the english like statement we have designed but we have not tested whether it is complete or not whether it is correct or not okay so we need to ensure this property then only we can say this is not a small fsm this is a big fsm this is having six state number of input are means uh, s a r g b five input all combination we have not tested so we need to first ensure the completeness correctness all the things then only we can say simply designing fsm may not guarantee you okay so the question is if you have designed this fsm suppose so can you trick this fsm to open the door without knowing the code so think a bit so how can you trick so if you look at carefully so if you press if you think carefully so 
hold all buttons simultaneously so all buttons simultaneously then what will happen so all buttons simultaneously this is s is equal to 1 ar is equal to 1 ab is equal to 1 this is equal to 1 this is equal to 1 it will go to unlock you this door will open so this is a very dangerous flaw in this application hold all the buttons simultaneously and it will open the door this uh, meaning of that this door lock is violated simply okay so this is very interesting example so what is the issue so issue lies very simplistic so first thing is whenever a new transaction is detected so if you look at earlier case if it is a a is pressed and then we are checking for whether it is pressed red or not and if it is button pressed a and a r if you look at in this case a r dex if it is button pressed but not r it is going to this place wait state but it's supposed to be like this so new transactions detect if wrong button is pressed return to wait states here whether you press the correct button or not you have checked but you have not checked for wrong button it need to check the wrong buttons so this is the r dex we have not pressed the right button but we have pressed other button if you press other button then it should go to wait state that we have not checked in the earlier fsm in this case whether button is pressed and it is not red that we have checked okay but if it is button pressed it is not red but it is if you press other button along with that then it should go to wait state okay so clearly we have press a button but not red but if you press other button then it should go to wait state this was not included so now at least this things uh, at least uh, it will with that all button press it may not unlock the door so still it is crudely we are designing but can you say still it is complete or not so if you look at common pitfall and regarding any transaction property you have already seen what is the from the correctness property so only one condition should be true so that already already seen for all transactions living states only one condition need to be true, true okay that means if it is multiple transactions true then which one to go so if you look at this example so from this states if, if this is the specified transactions if a is equal to 1 it goes to this states and if b is equal to 1 then it goes to this states okay then if suppose a b is equal to 1 then which state it will go because it have a choice to go both the states now it is not deterministic if ab is equal to 1 then it is not deterministic then it is not correct we have specified specifications somehow we need to specify correctly so what are the correct specifications so in this case if there is a choice of this kind of things then we need to specify a and a dash b so in this case if a happening it goes to this state if a is not happening and b is happening then it comes to this states then for this transactions if ab is equal to 1 then it have only one choice it have only one choice what was says being if ab is equal to 1 if ab is equal to 1 then it have only one choice either it can go for this or means uh, with only one choice so one condition must be true so what is the second property so first property is this one is first property and second property is for all transactions living state one condition must be true otherwise where it will go somehow next state need to be defined for every states for all kind of inputs okay so if this is uh, the states if 0 0 happens in this case 0 0 happens means in this case it will not go to the states it will not go to the states where it will go it will not go anywhere so somehow we need to specify 
if 0 happens then it is return to same state or it goes to some other states. Okay. That means, if we or all the things a dex b dex plus a plus a dex b it need to be 1 that means or property or of all outgoing h should be 1 for all transitions leaving a set one condition must be true. Okay. So, that is our properties. So, we can verify using Boolean algebra. So, what are the things? Proof pair can never simultaneously be true for some cases. Okay. So, for this is the transitions and if you can end it and if you are making a 0 then it is fine. If we are making a 1 that means there is a multiple options. Okay. So, a and a dash b if you end it it is going to 0 that means it is resulting a 0 that means this condition is okay there is no issue. You can verify using Boolean algebra only one condition is true okay. and operations of each condition pair for a transitions leaving a state should be equal to 0. And this is for not only for means one pair it is among all the pairs from a state all outgoing edges or it should be true. And another thing is one condition is true or all conditions should be equal to 1 that means at least one condition must be true that means from a state so earlier we gave a dash b dash here because here we are not getting anything. So, suppose this thing is not there suppose this thing is not there then what will happen. So, if you are this thing this is a and a dash b if you are this things we are getting a a plus b that means it fail it fails that means one condition must be true and in this case if a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 0 then we do not know what will happen. Okay. If a is equal to 0, b is equal to 0, we do not know what will happen, might fail, might not be 1. Suppose a 0 equal to b 0, a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 0, then in this case a is equal to 0, b equal to 0, this will result to a 0. That means where it will go, we do not know. So, we need to design in a such a way that all outgoing edges, if you or the things or all transitions, it should be 1. Okay. So, we can verify using Boolean algebra one condition is true among all pair of transitions from states. Okay. One condition must be true. This is between all pairs and another condition. Second condition is one condition all transitions from a states at least one condition need to be true. Okay. This is among all pair and this is from all one need to be there and between pairs between pairs okay. and we need to look at for all pairs and for this own examples prove whether one condition is true. Okay. So, if we look at the things in this case because we have added this a dash b dash now a plus a dash b dash plus a bar b it is zip to 1 as goes to 1. So, in this case it is fine and in another case if you look at for all pair a and a bar b a a bar b for this 2. So, this is going to 0 for a a bar b bar for, for this pair. So, this is going to 0 and a bar b and a b bar a bar b and this is a bar b bar in this case also it is going to 0. So, what it says this property is fine this property is fine and this property also fine for this transitions okay, for these three states for transiting from these states or property also satisfying and property also satisfying. Okay. This is the OR property, this is property number 2 and this is property number 1. N property also satisfying for all pair of edges and this is for 
all pair of edges and this is for or of all transitions sum to 1 this is also satisfied. And if you look at the earlier examples, so we did this thing. So, still can you say that uh, there is some error in this uh, design. So, if you verify the properties, recall the code detector earlier who have decided we fixed a problem with transition conditions, these things we have added. Okay. Earlier it was AR, only AR dex, uh, we had added to AR dex plus B plus G. Do the transitions obey required transitions property? So, particularly one condition is true, only one condition true. And let us verify, so whether it is specified or not. If you look at the things, so take the start state. Let us take the start state, start state, this, these things A R and A dex. This is what property? N property and for this it is satisfying 0, for A dex this it is satisfying. So, for this and uh, this, particularly this and this, this is satisfying. But if you look at for this edge, red edge and this edge, for this edge and this edge, for this edge and this edge, AR plus this thing, it is not equal to 0. What it says? It says that because it is not 0, there is a possibility some conditions, it may get confused, it may move to both the state, either one of the states, because end property is not satisfied. If end property is not satisfied, that means from start state, it may move to red 1 state, also white state on some condition. Okay. So, how to rectify this? It means the fail two start transitions could be true, two transitions could be true, this transitions AR and these things both could be true. So, we need to modify these things, this particular thing such that it will make 0 and what are the easier way to do? So, clearly this is non-zero and if you make because conditions AR and will be both true then wh what will go. So, if you look at the things, so how to solve instead of a simple AR, simple AR use AR B dex Z dex. These things instead of simple AR, this thing instead of simple AR, use it change to A R B dash G dex. And if you do this thing, then this will make it 0. So, that means, if you put in this case AR to this th things, then this will become 0. And that satisfy the property. And what is the final one will be, if you look at the things. So, if you do A R B dash G dex instead of AR, then it will satisfy the end property. And this is the modified FSM diagram with Boolean equations. Now, we have modified to instead of AR, we are putting AR B dash Z dex, instead of AB, we are putting AB R dex Z dex, instead of AG, we are putting AG R dex Z dex, instead of AR, we are putting AR B dash Z dex. Now, the in this case, it is satisfying the property. Okay. So, and this uh, actually what you can say is a complete FSM, this one is the complete uh, FSM because uh, this uh, satisfy the properties okay, for at least for these states, this thing will not fall it. Okay. And this is a uh, ADX button not press, is button press means this should go. Okay. So, this is uh, if it is button not pressed, then it should stay in the same states. Okay. So, in this case also, this is a ADX and ADX. If button not pressed, then it should stay in the same states. Okay. And this is the 
a complete uh, diagram for the our code detectors. So, we have verified uh, the properties and property and our properties for correctness. Okay. And whenever we are designing an episode, so we should check for completeness and we should check for correctness. And correctness can be checked by two methods that uh, end of every pairs should be 0 and or of all outgoing edges from a states need to be 1. That means, the statements what I said is one conditions must be true or of all transition is always 1 from a state there must be a transitions okay. and only one condition is true and of each pair is 0. That means, there should be deterministic there should not be any non-determinism. So, for some conditions two outgoing transitions should not happen. Okay. So, this finishes uh, today lectures. Okay. Thank you. So, whenever you are designing any FSM, so we should ensure these two things particularly completeness and correctness and these are most important thing in designing FSM for any sequential circuit. Thank you. Thank you.